now let's learn how nanotechnology is useful in nature okay nanoscale structures exist in nature long before scientists began studying them in laboratories that means in nature already there is nanotechnology okay there are nanostructures there so let's see some examples there okay even before human beings made okay the different things nanotechnology was in nature let's see how it is let's see an object here a single strand of dna the building block of all living things is about 3 nanometers wide you can see dna molecule you can see single this is a double structure okay double helix but you see dna will take a single strand okay that's around this diameter is around 3 nanometers the same nano means 10 power minus 9 meters okay, it's so small next we'll see how nanotechnology is useful in bite of butterflies there okay you see this is a butterfly called as morpho butterfly okay let's see this object here the scales on the wings of a morpho butterfly contain nanostructures that change the way light waves interact with each other giving the wings brilliant metallic blue and green hues you can see that the that um, butterfly's wings have some nanostructures there okay that will change the light waves and produce interference pattern and give rise to blue color and green colors okay how they use in laboratories sir manipulation of colors by adjusting the size of the nanoparticles with which materials are made so we can make uh, different structures there or uh, different particles and these different particles will have different colors also okay next we'll see this um, peacock feather okay object the peacock feathers get the iridescent color ration from light interaction with two dimensional photonic crystal structures just tens of nanometers thick if see in that uh, peacock feather it's very beautiful okay because uh, the light will interact with their crystal structures sir. so inside that uh, there are some crystal structures okay it's a two dimensional nature and due to the interaction okay it gives different colors sir okay how they mimic in laboratories how it is copied in laboratories sir similar nano structures are made in lab to glow in different colors okay so in lab they have copied this um, peacock feathers and they made different nano structures to go show different colors also okay next we'll see this fish here this is called as a parrot fish okay so parrot fish crunches up coral all day the source of parrot fish's powerful bite is interwoven fiber nano structure crystals of a mineral called fluoropartite are woven together in a chain mail like arrangement this structure gives a parrot fish teeth incredible durability okay so we see that um, parrot fish okay this is a fish here it crunches up coral coral is a kind of uh, structures living things which grow under the seabed okay it's mainly made of calcium carbonate okay so this will eat that uh, coral if you see its teeth is like a chain mail like chains connected okay like this way in olden days uh, uh, the knights used to wear armor chain mail okay chain will be connected like this way so in that st structure in that way its teeth is also there okay so it's very strong also so how they uh, mimic in laboratories sir okay the natural structure provides a uh, blueprint for creating ultra durable synthetic materials that could be used for mechanical components in electronics and other devices that undergo repetitive movement abrasion and contact stress okay so they see they are trying to copy this uh, pair fish teeth and try to make the metals used for electronics and other devices okay something will move all the time and they get worn down so to prevent the wear, wear down they are making that um, Materials which are copying that uh, parrot fish teeth. Now let's see the next one. This is a beautiful lotus leaf here. Okay, which is zoomed very much. Let's see this now. Lotus leaf surface scanning electron micrograph (SEM) showing the nano structures on the surface of a leaf from a lotus plant. This is the reason for self-cleaning process in a lotus leaf. You can see in a lotus leaf when you pour water, the water will flow down. It won't stay or any dirt will not stay because of this nano structures only. Let's see how they mimic in laboratories. Water repellent nano paints are made. Coating with such nano paints give durability, protection against stains and dirt, and also enhances fuel efficiency when coated on ships. So uh, they may try to make paints which copy this uh, lotus leaf structure, and also they are trying to paint ships there, okay, with the help of this coating, so that it will repel water. And also reduces fuel efficiency or increase fuel efficiency because there's less amount of friction there. Okay, it will reduce the friction and increase fuel efficiency. Okay, in ships. These are some of the applications of nano in nature. Thank you for watching.